In today's world, even the most non-tech savvy company may need its own solution for customers or employees. Many turn to low-code or no-code platforms in search of a quick answer. We're Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. You're on our channel. Weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. First, let's get familiar with the concepts. What is low-code development about? Imagine a Lego set. You put the cubes into the structure you want to see at the end. You don't really care what the cubes are made of. You concentrate on their arrangement and color. But at some point, the pieces start to fall short and you pull out the glue. Low-code platforms offer a similar solution to your problems. Developers can do most of their work in a visual editor without writing hundreds of lines of code. But the functionality of low-code services is limited. So in order to implement some individual functions, you have to open the console and enter the code manually. Sounds pretty convenient, right? According to statistics from Gartner, by 2024, more than 65% of all application development activity will occur in low-code services. That's a big number. But what exactly attracts developers? To get to the bottom of this, we've prepared the key advantages and disadvantages of low-code platforms. Ready? So, the benefits are quite obvious. First, the company saves a huge amount of time. The low-code development process itself takes less effort and moreover, ensures that the finished product is cross-platform. Traditional development approaches can't deliver that speed. The second advantage is the availability of external integration. Many services support working with PM tools and quality assurance, simplifying project management. And finally, the possibility of a permanent deployment. At any time, you can fix a potential bug or roll back to the previous version in two clicks, when there were no problems yet. But things are never that good in life, are they? Of course, there are some disadvantages. The main one is the limited functionality. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to implement your business ideas if the necessary features are not in the low-code service toolkit. Secondly, there are security concerns. You won't have full access to the code and consequently, the security data. At the end of the day, you only have to guess about possible holes in the code. As you can see, everything is not so rosy, and using low-code platforms must be treated with great caution. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. If you're interested, we recommend services such as Visual Lanza, Zoho Creator, Quixi, and Creatio. Well, what about no-code development? Maybe things are better there. As the name implies, when using no-code services to develop applications, the worker does not need to know programming as such. Everything is made up of pre-prepared common templates. Therefore, even a novice can work on such platforms. No-code development is also very popular among different types of companies. It especially attracts those who must create business solutions at high speed and on a large scale. It's clear that this approach has some common features with low-code development. Therefore, pros and cons are also quite similar. For example, no-code development greatly speeds up the product release and provides a high return on investment. The applications created through no-code are also quickly scalable and integrated with other services of the company. As for the disadvantages, they are virtually identical to low-code development ones. You face functionality and security issues because all the work takes place on the terms of the platform you're using. Popular options for no-code development, our colleagues at Jelvix include Airtable, ServiceNow, AppyPy, and Glide. Now, let's get down to the most interesting part, custom development. This concept describes the process of creating software from scratch. At Jelvix, it goes like this. The client has an idea he wants to bring to life, but does not have the specialists to implement it. After contacting Jelvix or another development company, a development plan is drawn up and work on the application begins. In this case, as opposed to low-code or no-code development, the customer will get exactly what he wants. 
Any function, regardless of its complexity, can be implemented, tested, and redesigned if necessary. Also, a quality development company guarantees the security of future applications. Multiple quality standards are used for this, and access to the source code allows a quick response to possible challenges. And of course, once the project is completed, you can always count on support from the developers in the future. All in all, as you can see, customer development offers a lot more variability and efficiency. What's the cost of all that? Of course, it's longer and more expensive. To summarize, it all depends on your needs. If you need a simple application on a tight deadline, low-code and no-code development can save you a lot of time and money. If your business idea completely depends on the future of the application, do not be lazy to use the services of professional developers. Now, for those who like to work on their own, we recommend watching our video about different code editors. We're sure you'll find it useful. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.